Hey YouTube, this is Money Making C. I'm coming to you today with a haul video and a giveaway. So after I show you the items I picked up from the Family Dollar and Goodwill, I will tell you about the giveaway. So first, I went to our neighborhood Family Dollar and they had a lot of these summer items on sale and I picked up some toys. So one particular toy I picked up was this matchbox boat and let me push it in so you can see it and I believe this one was 40 cents so I checked that on Amazon and this particular one if I recall was eight dollars and fifty cents if I recall if not let me know I know a lot of you viewers don't have a problem and I know you'll let me know correct me that's what I'm here for please let me know okay so another thing I also picked up was Charlotte's Web VHS tapes now this is brand new sealed still in the pack now our VHS tapes this one came from the um, Goodwill and the Goodwill sells their VHS tapes for 50 cents 50 cents to a dollar now this particular day when I went in to purchase VHS tapes all VHS tapes were 50 cents usually the VHS tapes are a dollar Here's another VHS tape that I purchased. Little Women. Okay. And this is another VHS tape I purchased. The Adventures of Mall. Let's see some more. Now, I did purchase a book. Now, usually, where I go I, to get my books, I usually go to Value World. And our Value World, believe it or not, their books are five for a dollar. Sometimes the books are ten for a dollar. So it just depends upon what sales they're running. But usually you can get them that cheap. Now the books at the Goodwill will run you a dollar fifty for the hard back books, and then the children's books are fifty cents. So this is one of the books I bought. The Weird Club. And this is another book I bought. Now, I did see on another viewer's channel that they were saying certain books you shouldn't buy, such as um, the Reader's Guide. I heard Reader's Guides aren't good to purchase. But you know what? I've actually purchased some Reader's Guides, and people have actually bought them. You know, I'll buy them for $0.25, cents and people will turn around and buy, pay them pay for at least fifteen sixteen dollars it depends upon the book so you never know exactly what someone's gonna get so me personally I feel that if you have a dollar to spare or you know if the books aren't that much you should go ahead and get it that's just me another thing I picked up this is a craft kit right here keepsake now this item right here actually I only paid 75 cents for it now I did look this up on Amazon with this barcode and for some reason it's not coming up at all so I don't know if this is going to be one of the items that I'm going to give away but like I said later on in the video I will exactly tell you what I'm going to give away And then I purchased these Hello Kitty tubs. Now they had at least 15 of them, but I was hoping that she would give me, she, meaning at the Goodwill, I hope the cashier was going to give me a good deal, but no, she said they're regular price because these are new items. So I paid 99 cents, but I only purchased four. The other one is down at the floor. I don't see that one. But I only purchased four of them because I didn't want to spend $15 on the tubs but then later 
I went on Amazon and I saw somebody selling a nice Hello Kitty gift bag. So I could have purchased it anyway, but I didn't. You know, didn't want to spend the money because I wanted to spend money on other items. Now, one more thing I would also let you know. I purchased this Halloween Barbie pail. It's like a plush pail. Now, this has the brand new tag still on it. This actually was 75 cents. So, in this whole gift package, I am trying to sell La La Loopsie. This nice little mad lip. It's two in a pack. And also... Uh, this dress up doll. This dress up doll was five cents. It's real thin, you know. It's open. Um, it was open rather at the top, but you can tell no one actually went inside of it. So that's a good thing. And a tablecloth. So I'm actually trying to sell this whole little gift package right here. Now. Let's get to the giveaway. I have purchased six of these Furbies at the Goodwill. Now, the cashier told me that the Furbies have been sitting on the counter for six months. No one bought them at all. These, of course, are used Furbies. Now, she gave me all six of them for $15. I said, wow, that's a good deal. Now, it was Christmas time last year when I purchased them, and I saw everybody was just buying them like crazy. So let me try and show you all of them, because this is going to be one of my items I'm going to give away. So... Another Furby. Sorry. This Furby is turned around. I don't know what's going on with the little guy in there. Let's turn him around. Sorry. Turn this little guy around. Uh oh. There he is. Okay. That's the little Furby inside of there. Here I come. Hold on. Pink Furby. Now these, of course, are the Furby babies. They're not the big Furby. Oh, a little white Furby right here. I really like this one better. Personally. And, you know, actually, they still have the tags on them, so I'm really guessing that these Furbies have never been used. I think they were just in box. I could be wrong, but, you know, I haven't turned the Furbies on, tried to use them. Look, I guess it'll help if I check and see if the batteries are in here. But you know what? Even if something has batteries in it, that doesn't mean if someone... Um, actually used it. They could have just put batteries in it and said they didn't want to um, want the Furby anymore. That's what I think. But of course we know if it came from the store and it has batteries in it. Um, Maybe it was used. We don't know. But it came from the first store. So we shall see. Two, four. Now the other Furby is over in the corner, and I will have to get her. I'm not sure um, what color she is. So for my giveaways, I am going to give away two Furbies. You pick the, co the color. Oh, sorry. You pick the color, and I am going to give away. Two VHS tapes. Two of the ones I just showed you. So, what you have to do to be entered into the contest, first of all, 
You have to be kind to people this whole week. I'm talking about uh, today is Wednesday. So actually, you need to be kind to people. Really, you should be kind to people all the time. But for this contest, be kind to people for the rest of this week and next week. And just tell me something that you have done that has touched somebody in some type of way. You know, God wants us to love everybody and be nice if we just all be kind to people in one way, some way. You know, you can always bless people in different ways. People do a lot of different things. And, you know, uh, sometimes people need help. Sometimes people don't need help. But it's always good to be kind and be respectful to each other. And help people out. So if you can do that, tell me how you were being kind and actually be truthful. You know, just don't make up something. I really can't tell if you were kind or not, but your conscience will be able to uh, eat you alive if you're not telling the truth. So it's best to go ahead and be kind. But that's it. I just want you to be kind and from the person that to me seems like actually they went out their way. I'm going to go ahead and give four of those items away. Um, one person would be able to choose one item that they would want to have, and uh, we'll go from there. And I will let you know the winners. And, you know, periodically I'm going to have videos like this because I think it's best that you know, some people might say you shouldn't have to reward people for being kind. But these days, trust me, it seems like people that are being kind need to be rewarded. That way, the people that aren't being kind, they will actually see, you know, there's a reward in being kind. God says, be kind to one another. And I think we all should. So I think we should love each other and be respectful, be nice and help out everybody. All right. Let me know. Bye. Love you.